The last part, can you say that, uh, say that again and about uh, that when I was at work? No, no, uh, not like that, sir. I will, what I'm going to do, I will let you know where uh, these error program or unsecured files are present at the moment and how you are going to find them out from your end by yourself, okay? Okay, sure. All right, sir. So, sir, I'm, I'm, you already in front of the computer, right? So it will take only two to three minutes, okay? Okay, yep, my computer's on. So, okay, now first, if you have anything personal or any windows open, could you please minimize that and be on your normal home screen first? Okay, yep, I'm on my home screen. Now come to the keyboard in the extreme left-hand side bottom corner. You see a CTRL control key. I see Alt Control. Yes, I see those keys on my keyboard. Okay, now just right next to that control, right beside it, which key you have? Uh, next to my control key, I have a. It looks like a uh, a square icon right. with some waves coming out of it. Exactly. Yes, sir. Now first, you need to only press and hold that square key, and along with that, press letter R, R as in Roger, both key at the same time. Okay, I'm pressing those, yep, yep, I'm pressing those keys right now, okay? There's a box that came and up on I'm, my computer, is that okay? Sorry? There's something that just came up on my screen, is, is that okay? It, it's something, uh, okay. I don't recognize what it, but see, uh, it, it's asking me to enter something? It's okay. okay. It, it has a three option, right? Okay, cancel and browse. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly. Okay, sir. All right. Okay, sir. So I will tell you what you need to put in there. Type it in there. E as in Edward. Uh huh. Then V as in Victoria. Okay. E as in Echo. Okay. N as in Nancy. Uh huh. T as in Tokyo. Okay. V as in Victoria. Okay. W as in William. Uh huh. And R as in Roger. Okay. Now just read back to me one time, sir, what you typed in there. Uh, I have, um, is it events? Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, did I misspell that? I, must, I might have missed some letters. Okay, it's event, then VWR. Then VWR, okay. Now click on OK, and after click on OK, what do you see next? Let me know. Um, okay, so if I do the event uh, VWR, um, yes. it's, it says that there's an error. Sorry? It's saying that there's an error? Did I mistype something? Okay, there is an OK, no, OK option over there. Uh, yes. Click on OK. Okay. Now, after click on OK, now what you need to do, you will come back to that box once again. Okay. Now, in that box, what you type it in there, read back to me. Uh, e V E N T V M R. Okay, you put VMR, that's why it won't let you go. It oh. will be V as in Victoria, then W as in William, and R as in Roger. Okay, oh, okay. It's not M, it should be W. Okay, okay. okay. I, I have something on my screen now that says Event v uh, Viewer. Okay, first tell me one thing. Have you seen this page before? Do you have any idea of it, what is the Event Viewer is? No, I don't. What is the screen? Okay, I will tell you. If I say in a simple word that anything goes wrong with your computer, you can find out that problem in this event viewer page. Now, if you look on the left hand side, do you see an option like event viewer local, custom views and windows log? Well, yes I do. Double click on custom views. Okay. And after double click on custom views, what option come up underneath that, let me know. Uh, under custom views, I have Cisco, server roles, mm -hmm. administrator and events. Administrative events. Exactly. Double click on that, administrative events. Okay, yep, I see it. 
Now, after double click on that administrative event, now you need to look at the middle of the page. And if you see something in that middle of the page, tell me. Uh, yes, I see something in the middle of the page. Okay. What do you see over there, sir? Uh, I see some warnings and, uh, and errors. Uh, very few. Do I, see, you see a whole I see like maybe two or three errors out of uh, I mean, out of two thousand events. Maybe there's less than a hundred exactly. errors. Exactly. So, sir, have you seen this error before? Do you, if you just scroll down, you will see a whole lot of error over there, yeah. right? Okay. So actually what happens, sir, whenever you go online to check your email, browse your internet or visit any type of website, at that same point of time, these unwanted error programs are keep getting into your computer without your prior knowledge and without any notification. And day by day, it multiplies itself and occupies the whole disk space of it which will make your computer run slow. And now, if you look just next to that error, you will see a date and time. Could you tell me what was the current date on the top, the first one on the list? Uh, the current one, first one on the list is uh, today's date, about four minutes ago. Okay, I understand. So what I'm trying to explain it to you, sir, if you look over there, you will came to know that still today you are receiving all these error programs and you are not even aware of that. So why is that? Because these files are much more malicious than the virus and they are completely hidden in nature. That is the main reason your antivirus not able to block them and mm -hmm. the computer becomes unprotected. Okay. Now, if you look at the top, at the top there will be a number of events. Could you tell me what was the number of events, sir? Uh, 2,158. Oh my God. Uh, let me tell you, sir, in a normal working computer, it shouldn't be cross 500. <laughs> in your system, you have more than 2,000. So from that, you can understand, sir, how harmful the files are. So now, <coughs> tell me one thing. Apart from those red errors, do you have a yellow triangle warnings over there? Uh, yes, I have yellow triangle warnings. Okay. Why am I... Because when these errors are reaching their maximum level, that point of time, you're receiving all these warnings directly from the server. So it can indicate or let you know that your computer is not in the safe zone anymore because warning always indicates future possible problems. Now, uh, tell me one thing, sir, as because you have more than 2,000 errors, you are the only person who used this computer or apart from you, anyone else also using it? Uh, no, that would just be me. Just you. I mean, you pay the internet bill of this computer? What's that? I mean, you pay the internet bill of this computer? No, my office does. Your office does? Yes. I mean, if this computer belongs to your office? It does. It's not your personal computer? No, it's my office computer. Okay. And apart from this computer, do you have any other computer? Um, I mean, I probably have about um, maybe a dozen personal computers between my office, my personal, and my uh, my lab environment. Okay, I mean, the office, you said, I mean, it's a business, and you are the owner of this business. I'm not. I'm only the. Uh, I'm. I'm very low in the in the uh, uh, in the business. I'm only the manager of network operations. I don't really have much. In, uh, I don't really do much here. I understand. Yeah. I understand, sir. Yeah. So I mean, right at the moment, you are in your home, right, sir? Uh, no. Right so, now, I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually in my office with my staff. Um, I have. Uh, I have my. Assistant in my uh, of network operations next to me, and across from him, I have my uh, my my engine my network operations engineer, and uh, next to him, okay. I have my network operations technician. 
Um, you know, should I should I go over to my service team? I mean, I have my uh, IT technician uh, that's over on uh, just across the cu uh, the cubicle across from my team, um, or I can okay. go to my senior technician. Would, uh, or are you able to help resolve these issues? Okay, I understand. But uh, first time when I talk with the lady, she says that uh, you are okay. Tell me one thing, sir. Normally, you said you are a manager, and you also understand about the technical part, right? I mean, I, I have a little bit of knowledge, and you know, like I said, I'm only the network operation, the manager of network operations. You know, I'm very, I'm very low in this company. I, I, I you know, we okay. only serve, you know, we only service a few people. So. Um, okay, so uh, sir, I mean, I'm just wanted to know that uh, you use this computer, right? So you can take decision regarding to this computer. What's that? I mean, you can take decision regarding to this computer. Uh huh. You can take decision. I mean, if uh, you already see there is a 2,000 errors, and because of that, some of the software are not running over there. They completely getting stuck. I will show that to you. All right. But first, what you have to tell me that you can take decision regarding to this computer, right? I can. I, I, I think I can approve okay. changing and, my own computer. Okay. And uh, you use this computer for personal purpose as well? Um, not really. I mean, like I said, this is my office computer, so I don't really make a lot of decisions. I don't usually use it for okay. personal use. Okay. Okay. So, sir, apart from this computer, do you have any personal computer in your home? In my home? Yeah, I have, I have a few personal computers. Uh, a couple of them are, are, are Macintosh computers. Okay, all right. So, sir, I mean, uh, is there one thing I can do that uh, when you come back to home, what time? Uh, well, I don't really get home until like 9 or 10 o'clock. I, I could remote over into my personal computer if that helps. I mean, I have remote access to it. Okay, I understand. This. I mean, right at the moment, you don't have an access to it. I do. So, I, I, and, uh, I have you, access to my you do. computer. Yes, yes, I, I have, I have you, you, access. you can go to your personal computer? You can open it? Yeah, I can remote into it. Oh, okay, so just open that personal computer that you have, sir. And I will let you know how to resolve this issue. You can close that even viewer page. I will let you know. And you can go ahead and switch on the personal computer that you have. Okay? okay. All right. I just remote it over. I'm connected now to my personal computer. You are? Sorry? I, I just remote it. I'm, I'm connected now to my personal computer. You're connected to your personal computer? Yes, I am. Okay. And once it's on, once your computer is on, let me know. Okay, it's, it's on. I can, I'm connected to it. I'm at the desktop. Okay, and uh, sir, this one is a Windows one, right? No, this is a Mac. It's a Mac one. Okay, no problem. So now the computer is on. What do you need to do? First, uh, if you look on the left-hand side, upper corner, you will see there is an Apple logo over there. Uh, an Apple? Yes, yes. Yeah, no, I'm not excited. Click on that Apple logo. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on one second, sorry. Uh, sorry about that. All right. So I, I actually have to. I was, it was fun playing with you, but um, you know, I actually have to go and uh, have to go, have to uh, actually go back to work. I hope you don't mind, but uh, I actually ha actually work for an IT company that manages over a hundred plus clients with uh, over. About twenty five hundred endpoints, including servers. So, okay. Um, it was it was fun. Uh, it was fun. Uh, this conversation was fun and amusing, but um, okay. I, I actually have do blister. have a little bit of an understanding of what's in the event log and why there's uh, why there are warnings in my event log, um, and of course they have nothing okay. to do with uh, viruses. But uh, thanks for playing the game and being a good sport about it. Ah, he hung up. That's unfortunate.